Okay, so I've never had a professional manicure ever in my life. So you guys already know that I'm very thrifty and so I've just always done it myself. And also, side note, I have very shaky hands. Trust me guys, you can do this at home yourself too. And it is definitely much easier than it looks. So, for today's manicure, you're going to need a nail cutter, a nail file, a nail buffer, which is optional, liquid latex for nails, this is also optional, you'll need some white matte nail polish, you'll need some clear nail polish, I'm using Sally Hansen, so Sally Hansen is cruelty free, however, they're owned by Koti, so their parent company is not cruelty free, that is something for you to consider before you decide to buy from them. You're also going to need some nail gems. You'll find these on my Amazon storefront. I'll put them in the description box. You'll also need some dried up kajal or some lip liner that's dried up and old. And you will also need some nail glue. I'll start by giving my nails a little trim with a nail cutter. Then I'm just going to file down the edges. My nails are in between a square and a round shape, so I generally tend to flatten the tops and then round the edges. Now I'm just going to buff down my nails ever so slightly just to get rid of a little bit of that discoloration but I will only buff down a tiny bit because I don't want to weaken my nail bed too much. Then I'm just going to file them down once again. Now it's time for the white tip. I'll link all the products down below. Have a look if you're interested. And guys, I'm just freehanding the white tip. You honestly don't have to be super precise here. No one's going to be glaring at your nails and checking out how straight your lines are. So just make those bold strokes. Don't overthink it. This is honestly much easier than it looks. If you feel like you're making a mess, then you can always put some peel off latex on either side of your nail. And you're good. Now I'll just wait for my first coat of white to dry. After 10 minutes, I'll go in with a second coat. If your first coat looks a little bumpy or a little uneven, this is your chance to make it nice and even and also to correct some of the lines or some of the mistakes that you made. And then I'm just going to wait for this to dry as well. Once everything is completely dry, I'm going to go in with a layer of my clear top coat. You can also use Color Bar, but I prefer Sally Hansen because I feel like the brush is a little nice and long and so application wise, it's a little more satisfying and easy.
Now I'll just wait for this layer of clear coat to dry. This is what things are looking like. And then I'm going to go in with a second coat of clear nail polish. Once you're done with the second coat of clear nail polish, you can take off the liquid latex that you used earlier and you can use a pair of tweezers to do this. Now you can completely stop right here. However, it is time for my favorite part. We're going to add some pretty gems. This step is obviously totally optional. So to pick up my gems, I'm going to use a blunt dried up twist up kajal. You can also use an old lip liner for this as well. As long as it's dried up, it's fine. I'm going to use the smallest size gems from the set. I'm going to add a dash of glue to wherever I want to place the stones. And now to pick up the stones, I'm going to use the tip of the kajal and then place it down on the nail. I'm only going to be placing these stones on my ring fingers because to be very honest, they don't last very long on my nails and so it doesn't make sense for me to use them on every single nail. I'm doing the other hand a little differently. I'm placing the nail glue where I want it and then I'm placing the gems in a line just below the white tip. And this is what the final product looks like. If you enjoyed this little DIY French manicure, then hit the like button, subscribe for more DIYs and all things curly hair. I really appreciate you guys watching because I know this is a little different for my channel. I've never done a video like this before. Let me know if you enjoyed the content, if this kind of content interests you, stuff like that. Your feedback definitely helps me understand what kind of content you guys want to watch. And I definitely enjoy keeping all of your suggestions in mind when I'm creating content. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this one. So that was it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.